In today's video, we'll be discussing a crucial aspect of electric scooter ownership, finding the best lock to keep your e-scooter safe and secure. Electric scooters may cost a lot, therefore, there's a big chance to become a victim of scooter theft. So it's important to lock your scooter securely whenever you park it. By the end of this video, you will know what lock types are available, which lock types are most secure and how to lock a scooter in most efficient way. First of all, many scooters can be locked electronically. For that, you just have to open the scooters app and click the lock icon. It will lock the wheels and the scooter is unrideable. However, it doesn't prevent the thief from simply lifting your scooter into the car. So additionally, you should definitely use a physical lock for better security. Here are the four most common lock types for locking an electric scooter. Cable lock, U-lock, chain lock and the folding lock. The cheapest lock you can get is the cable lock. It's lightweight and easy to use. However, it is the least secure type of bike lock. Cable locks are easy to cut and it's only a matter of minutes of skilled thief to break the cable lock. You can use the cable lock as a secondary lock, but don't use it as a primary lock. These other lock types are all a good option for locking your electric scooter securely, but each of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. The U-lock is one of the most secure locks among scooter locks. They look like large padlocks that go around the frame of your scooter and an anchor point. A high security lock can weigh as much as 2 kilograms, which is roughly 4 pounds. The best U-locks have hardened steel bodies and thick shackles. They come in different sizes, so make sure to get one that comfortably wraps around the stem of your electric scooter and the anchor point. However, the U-lock is quite heavy and big, and it's difficult to carry. Just like a U-lock, the chain lock provides also a highest level of security. Personally, I like chain lock more than U-lock because it's more versatile due to length and flexibility. The lock can be easily wrapped between the anchor point and the scooter. But still, the chain lock is also pretty heavy and it may be difficult to carry. You need a backpack for it. And then there is a folding lock. Honestly, I like folding lock the most. The compact and lightweight design makes it really convenient option. Since they fold down, the lock is really easy to carry. Additionally, often the lock comes with a small bag that can be attached to the scooter. However, the folding lock is not as secure as a chain lock or a U-lock. It has a lot of moving parts that can be vulnerable to attacks, but still, it's much more secure than a cable lock. How to choose the best lock for you? Here are the most important factors to consider when buying a lock for your electric scooter. Quality locks can be expensive, so it's good to know how much you are willing to spend. Invest in quality materials and reinforcements instead of fancy bells and whistles. As with any other security product, you get what you pay for. Cheaper locks are ideal for low-risk environments, such as a private parking lot, but don't make the mistake of cutting corners in high-risk environment. How much did you pay for your scooter? If it's an expensive electric scooter, then it's more attractive target and thus will require more security to deter theft. But if it's a relatively inexpensive model, it doesn't make sense to invest in pricey, state-of-the-art scooter security. You don't want a situation where thieves cut the scooter in half to steal your lock. Thieves will spend more time cutting loose a high-end scooter than they will a cheaper one. However, that doesn't mean that you should leave your cheap scooter unattended. A cheap, unsecured scooter is more attractive to criminals than any expensive scooter with a decent lock. Here are a couple of questions you should ask yourself. Where do you live? How safe is the neighborhood you park in? Can you maintain a line of sight of your parked scooter at all times? And how long do you usually leave your scooter unattended? Depending on the answers, you may not need the most high-end lock. But if you leave your scooter unattended for hours, then you need strong locks that can deter thieves and survive multiple attempts. Now, when we have chosen the best lock for us, it's time to learn how to lock an electric scooter in most efficient way. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to lock your scooter. The most secure locking points on your scooter are built of solid materials like stainless steel and aluminium. 
free of screws and removable attachments, difficult to break and vital to functioning of the scooter. Some scooters have a dedicated hole in the frame that can be used to lock the scooter. These are the best locking points. However, many scooters doesn't have a great locking point at all. The stem looks like a good idea, but you can easily screw off the handlebar and then the lock is useless. If the wheel doesn't have a quick release, you can use it as a locking point. Also, if the lock is short enough, you can wrap the lock above the wheel under the stem. The biggest deterrent of theft is other people, so whenever possible, park your electric scooter near crowds or high traffic areas. Make sure the area is widely visible, well lit and easy to monitor and access. Shopping centers are a good place to start. They're often crowded, plus most shops have outdoor security cameras that deter thefts. Bike racks or other similar permanent objects that are cemented to the ground are the best objects to lock up your scooter. Your best bet is a designated bike rack, since it's designed for that exact purpose. But stair railings, steel posts and sign posts work too. Avoid flimsy structures that look easy to cut or smash through. It's a bad idea to let the lock hang too close to the crown. That's a sure way to get it pulverized by a hammer. Make sure it's suspended slightly above the ground, far enough to make hammer attacks ineffective. To sum it up, if you lock up your scooter every time you leave it unattended, there is a good chance that you will not become a victim of theft. Remember that chain locks and U-locks provide the highest level of security, and the cable lock is only good for short-term locking. The folding lock is a nice compromise between security and convenience. If you follow all the security guidelines provided in this video, then you can deter even the most motivated thieves. If you found this video useful to you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, let us know in the comments which lock type you like the most.